Hey, YouTube. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? This is Gothic King of YouTube with another video. <clears throat> I've been gone from YouTube for a while because I was helping my grandparents and great grandparents both help help them move into one house, two houses in, individually into one house. They help, help move them from Billings, Montana, to Phoenix, Arizona. So I've been helping them do that, you know. <sighs> and that was a long and tireless journey, but I got it done, and I was happy to help. I actually have three sets of great grandparents. I got one set on my grandmother's, my grandma's mom and dad, my dad's mom, and then I got the two other sets on my mom, my stepmom's grandparents. Both their parents are still around, so yeah, I'm almost 20 years old. I'll be 20 in March 26, and I still got three sets of great grandparents. That's um pretty cool. Anyway, I'll play some guitar and do a video. My guitar. I haven't seen it in 10 days, man. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> uh, YouTube, of course, being gone for 10 days, I've gotten several negative comments. And my response to that is just to delete half of them. I mean, if they're legit enough to respond to, which I think are legit to respond to, I just respond to them. If not, I usually end up deleting them because they're so negative and so, wow, out there, just in my face trying to get me to react. And, negatively back to get their channel attention and I just look at their comments because I really just do not care so if you want to leave comments on my channel that's cool but if you're going to be a negative dick I mean extremely negative I'm just going to delete your comment I'm not going to look at your channel I'm just going to delete your comment if you respond again I'll block you from my channel because I really am not going to give you trolls the attention you want <laughs> let's grab the ring Oh yeah, I get a lot of people, this is a gauntlet ring, I got a hot topic, a lot of people ask me about this, it's a gauntlet ring, see it fits over my finger, how cool is that? Rawr. And a lot of people ask, do I have autism? Yes, I have Asperger's, it's a form of autism, it sucks, but I get by the best I can. <laughs> Anyway, I make magic wands. It's one of my hobbies, and I got done making one before I left. Right here, I call this the ace. I made this magic wand myself. I think it's pretty cool. I was going to give it to somebody, but I thought, fuck this, I'll keep it. It feels good in the hand. That's what she said. Oh, look, I got wood. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but it's taken me several years to perfect my wand making. Making a wand like this with a handle on the point, or crystal wands and this is my crystal wand that I made for myself pretty sick isn't it but yeah I've worked with this craft for a long time over the years I made wands for people and got paid to make one for someone once and I've perfected my wand making to make them look this good over the years just different things I've discovered that work for me anyway and how to drill the crystal hole just right so the crystal fits and doesn't break off whatever and this is the glue I use for my wands right here this is the glue I use, I recommend it, although it is extremely potent, it smells awful, holy shit, this is just, whoa, it's strong, and if you get it on your hands, it is incredibly sticky, and you know, so, working with glue is a precaution, try not to inhale the fumes too much, and be careful when you're gluing stuff together, because it can be hazardous, so. <sighs> okay, that was crap, I'm sorry, I haven't played my guitar in 10 days, so. How about a sweep? There we go. My, my top string is out of tune. Anyway, I've been having very vivid love dreams about this girl I've never even met. Um, every time I visualize her, she's just perfect. I mean, holy crap. And I don't know who she is, or where she lives, or whatever. But, um, 
Ah, uh, you know, it's weird, because I only know this chick. I can't remember where I've met her, actually. She looks like a 20-year-old some a 20 -year -old Elvira lookalike, except she's really, really, I mean, drop-dead gorgeous. Dark green eyes, real busty, real curvy, just long, flowing black hair down to her shoulders. She's beautiful, big, dark green eyes. And really beautiful, just, you know, hot goth girl that I keep seeing in my dreams. Kind of an Elvira lookalike, except she's 20 years old. Which I'll be 20 in March, March 26th. I don't know who she is or where I've met her, but I keep having dreams about her, and I'm falling in love with a girl I've never even met. <laughs> Crazy life of Josh Saunders. <laughs> and when I meet her, I'm probably going to drop a load in my pants, not from the back, but from the front. I'm like, oh my god, that's a girl I'm, I saw in my dreams. Holy shit, you know? So if I do meet her, it'll be like, what the fuck? I just, I know that chick. I've been seeing her in my dreams for a couple months now, actually. Actually, this, this past, these past, um, um, two weeks I've been seeing her in my dreams. I don't know who she is or, you know. But I'm not complaining about the dreams. They're actually very fun until I wake up and realize I'm still single and virgin. I'm like, oh, fuck that. Honestly, I don't let shit like that get to me. I mean, I am single. I am still a virgin. And I haven't had my first girlfriend on my first date and I'm almost 20. I'll be 20 on March 26. But I really don't care because life goes on, you know. I'm not going to sweat small shit like that. You just don't need to. So I have been gone for 10 days. I've been on YouTube. I stopped to check my YouTube account once, and I, my inbox was pretty full. I thought, you know what? I'll just check it when I get back to Casper. So I got back to Casper, and I checked my inbox and got all that sorted out. Um, this one guy sent me, this one YouTube user sent me a video about ghosts and stuff. Tell me to check it out and tell me what you think, and I'll check it out later on tonight. But right for now... <laughs> Peruna 2 Forever, also known as Duck Boy. Now this one YouTuber got so pissed off when on one of my response videos to Duck Boy, as I call him, and it, he was extremely pissed off. I don't know if it's here. She just leave the poor fucker, leave Donald Duck alone. Blah, just going off. And I, I don't hate the kid. I just laugh at him because he's so fucking pathetic. I mean, it's, it's constructive criticism, telling what I think of his video, my opinions on his subjects in his videos, and that's YouTube. I state my opinion. I get you know. 10 people who like it and about 6 or 7 people who hate it and I don't let it bother me because it's YouTube you only get used to it when you got a YouTube account <laughs> but. <laughs> so yeah oh Hermione Granger oh it's specked up by Toronto oh, oh Lindsay Lohan it's specked up by Toronto oh it's specked up by Toronto yeah Oh no, they got Patronus in their face. Oh my god. Oh, this is a pretty hard one. It feels good in the hand. That's what she said. Yeah, I'm beating all you purpose to the jokes. <laughs> but yeah, I like the crystal wands and the regular wands I make. This is one of the regular wands I made. You know. It's one of my odd hobbies I practice, you know. Um, I got another stick here. I'm going to turn to a um, wand like the ace. You know, just a handle on a point. I'll work with this and make it into another wand. And then this... This one right here, I'm turning into a wizard staff. I'll uh, drill a hole out right here. I'm going to put a crystal in here and carve it and paint it or stain it. Or put a little strap on it or both. But um, the strapping you see on the ace wand right here is all this. I've discovered recently how to do this, the painting and the whatnot of it. So, yeah. I was going to have it just be black and then white and a black tip. But I changed my mind at the last minute and made it black. It feeds into white, then silver, then gray, then black. So it's really cool. I like it. Oh my. There's the Ace of Spades right there. I tried to the Ace of Spades in, the, in here, but it didn't come out right, so I'll just do it right here. Yeah. I was going to give this to somebody, but I like it, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> anyway. I'm back, so I'm making more videos and posting them. I'll look for a Prune to for a video that can respond. Make a response video to one, I guess, and um, stuff like that. Just keep making videos. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can qualify for SSI, which is Social Security Income, and keep the job I'm at right now, and try to get more hours, and um, save up money, and get an apartment and move out. Um, I would have a 52 Ford pickup, but that's a headache for another YouTube video, which I'll make after this one. I'm selling it because I don't know where to put it right now, and it's been a humongous hassle. So if you want, you can have it. Um, 
It's for sale on Billings, Arizona. It's a 52 Ford F-150 with an 84 Ford 351 Windsor dual exhaust. Um, it just, it needs interior work, all the glass replaced, lights, and the engine put back together. And you gas up and go, and it could be a little gasser, you know, rat rod if you want, if you'd like. You know, not, it's halfway done, it just needs a couple of things. It'd make a nice project. Um, I'll um, look for it. I want to talk about that in my next video. After this one, I'll um, post a link for the ad in my next video. So, yeah. Uh, and I'll use that money I get from it and pay my grand off for some money for the parts he paid for it. And then the rest of it goes to me. And so a couple of other things from the first car before that, that I was dumping money into that didn't work out. I want to save up and build my own custom tea bucket hot rod in my garage. I found a couple of websites I can order tea bucket parts from and assemble the tea bucket in my garage. So I'll be doing that and making my own custom car. Loads of fun. So yeah, this is about all that's happened so far in my interesting life. So until then, this is Gothic King Go 52 with another video.